Hello everyone, welcome to Technical Voice. In the last video, we have created our first pipeline with the YAML. In this video, we are going to create the same pipeline but this time with the classical editor. So let's create it. So click on the new pipeline. So we have uh, uh, one pipeline in place that we have created last in the last video. So here uh, you can select that you are going to create with the YAML or with the classical editor. So we are going with the classical editor, editor then click on use the classic editor. And here you need to follow the same steps that we followed while we are creating pipeline with the YAML. So where is my uh, source repos? It's on the Azure repos kit. So click on it and select the repository and the branch. So this is uh, I want to, to create on the my app and then the master branch. So click on the continue. Here we need to select the framework if the all settings in some YAML file you can click on it but we are going with the ASP.NET Core.NET Framework because we have uh, that .NET Core application. So click on apply. So here uh, we have all the things uh, set up uh, for the pipeline. So in the YAML file uh, we need to uh, changes by typing and uh, we need to update the YAML file but here you can play with the uh, UI editor. So these are all the steps. In the first step, uh, where is our source? You can change it uh, if you want, but we have already selected that the repos uh, is on the Azure repos gate and it is the repository and then the agent job. Uh, what is the name of the job you want to write and etc. things? And also, if I click on here and uh, Oh, sorry these are the nuget things and uh, it's saying that it is using the nuget 4.4.1 you can change it the latest one you can choose 6.2.1 and then you get restored in build solution so these three things I don't need it if you want to add new step you can just add it from there just click and then step you can uh, uh, change the order of the steps just for example I, if I want to change just drag and drop the steps but I don't want this one so just click on it and then remove it so I also don't want this one remove it so these are all the steps in place for this uh, pipeline and uh, then uh, for this pipeline we want to use which agent uh, these are all the Microsoft hosted agents so currently it is using the Windows 2019 but we want Windows latest and uh, uh, these are the parameters and all the variables that will use in you know you can create new variables for this pipeline and then trigger click on enable continuous integration you can also schedule it that uh, automatically run this uh, pipeline at some day at some particular day or you know uh, at for example from a particular time in a day so we don't need it for this uh, for now the options and the history so that's it for uh, all you know to create the pipeline with the classical editor editor let me change the name uh, my app classical pipeline so save click on now save and queue
so let me duplicate it So if I go to pipelines, it's running. And if I click on the jobs, check out, use new get, new get restore. And now it's spelling the solution. and it just runs successfully so as you can see that uh, we have now two pipelines the one with the classical editor if I click on it and you go edit it will open the YAML file but if I go to the pipelines again and click on it and click on edit it opens the UI editor so you can create the uh, pipelines either with the uh, classical editor or with the YAML file but when to choose when uh, I'll create a short video on it and uh, you can create with the both approaches but uh, I will explain that uh, with which uh, uh, feature you will use you need to use to create the pipeline so that's it for this video. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.